everyone and welcome back to my channel so i thought why not do a quick video on my sort of favorite learning le language learning apps i will caveat that this will not be a video about duolingo i'm sorry no offense to the bird okay but this isn't your time my friend this is not your time i'm more focusing on beginner stuff things that are really good if you're just starting out so without further delay let's get into the video so the first app that i would want to mention is drops i'll put up a screen for you to see it I think visually I really like this app it's very sort of clean and very very easy it is very helpful if you are starting out and the thing I like about drops is they have a lot of languages so uh, if you've seen my other video I'll be putting the link in I am doing a Thai challenge so I am using the Thai drops for this that has been helping because again like I said I'm a beginner in Thai so therefore everything they've got on there that is free is good the, I do like the fact that you have free time. The only issue I have is I don't feel like five minutes is long enough because for me, it takes a few minutes for my brain to wake up. And then once I've woken up and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm learning all the vowels and the consonants. Suddenly my free trial is done. They want money. And I'm like, not today. But other than that, it is, I think, quite a good resource if you're starting out and if you don't want to spend and you don't want to part with the coins my next recommendation is quizlet and it is basically a sort of flash card sharing app so you can go on there you can find your language someone probably has made flashcards about it you can download those flashcards and revise that way you can also add your own flashcards and then other people so it is like a really sort of nice community sharing way of learning the only sort of caveats or problems i find with it uh, that because it is being made by people and as far as I'm aware it isn't being checked by anyone you have to be careful in case of mistakes or in case someone's put the wrong thing and so you have to watch out for maybe learning the wrong thing but other than that I think it is a very very good app because you have the option for quizzes for games on there so that you can really get those flashcards in your head so another app I would recommend if you're wanting to improve your reading ability I would highly recommend Beeling You app now i can't off the top of my head remember what the free version of this is like i did part with some coins to buy this i will not be doing it again not because it's a bad app but just for me i found other resources for chinese specifically so if you're interested in a chinese specific uh video on what i use and how i've sort of learned chinese let me know in the comments. So yeah, Beeling You app, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. Uh, I would highly recommend it. It has a lot of languages. So it has a sort of the standard Spanish, French, English, all of that. It has Chinese. It has, what I also really like is it, they've recently, they've now got music, news articles and stories. So the app, so Beeling You app is an app that contains snur like uh, childhood stories in your chosen language that you know and your learning language. You can sort of keep up and they can read it to you. And it's a great way to kind of get the listening exercise in, get the reading skills in. And especially for a language like Chinese, reading is, as they say, fundamental. It is very good for that. Another app or sort of language learning resource I would recommend is Tandem. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of this app. And for me personally, it is one of my favourite apps to use. First, I want to go through the positives of the app. So again, it's a very clean looking app. For me, I just like aesthetics and it looks clean. It doesn't look a bit... It looks nice. So I like that about it. It's very sort of simple to use. You have the ability to find people who speak your chosen language. With the paid version, you can change location. So I've recently paid for this for one month because I wanted to see what, I was just curious about what it was like on the paid version. So I've paid for a month and I really like the fact that I can, doesn't help me much during this isolation period, but I can see 
who in my area is native in this language or can speak the, the, the language I'm trying to learn. And I think it's just a great way to meet people in my area time zone rather than sort of when I come to the country, I'll meet you. So I thought it would be quite nice to sort of make new friends. And that is what Tandem is like. I have met some amazing people in Tandem and it's free. I mean, it is a free way to talk to someone in the language you're learning. There is no better way to improve than speaking. And even if you make mistakes, that's great because you learn from them. You learn the most from when you mess up. Facts, allegedly, but I believe it. So that's the positives of Tandem. I will say for the negatives that as this might just be a personal experience, but as someone who is native English speaker, I have found that at times, not so much now, but when I first started, I found that when I'm online, I would suddenly be inundated with all these messages. And it was literally to the point of every minute I'd have 10 new people messaging me. And it's great because yes, there's a lot of people to learn, but it can feel overwhelming, especially when you're sort of very new to language learning. So I will say just watch out for that. So another sort of app slash facility I would recommend is italki. Could not recommend this enough. I do not know what I would do if I didn't have italki. Being able to sort of sit down with one tutor, one on one, has changed how I'm learning Chinese. It has really made me come on leaps and bounds. And I really wish I had known about italki at the start of my journey, because I am telling you, I'm going, I would have been fluent by now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Prices, depending on your language, so Chinese and Thai, I found to be very, very well priced. So for if you wanted a one off lesson, you're looking for an hour, you're looking in the region of seven to 10 pounds for both that's either Thai or Chinese in what I've seen. Now, for some might be like, oh, well, that's actually a lot. But come on, seven to 10 pounds, you're probably spending more in some places on a piece of cake and tea. Let's be real. Just try it out. See what you think. I will put a code in the description so you can get I think it's $10 off. Try it. Trust me. Change my life. So that moves me on to my final point. Now, this is my, let's just say where I waste all my time. And this isn't even just for language learning. This is just in general. My final point is not a language learning app. It is not something, well, one you have to pay for, but it's not something that is like, oh, uh, where's that green bird? Is he flying back in again? My final recommendation is either YouTube or Netflix. Yeah, because the amount of free stuff on there, that is where you should be starting out. That is where I started out. When I started learning Thai, I started on YouTube. I looked at YouTube, I was like, listen, before I part with the coins, I need to know if this is a language for me. And that's how I've decided on what languages to learn. And the other thing I love about YouTube and Netflix is I am obsessed with watching things. So I love dramas. I love watching Chinese dramas and films. I love watching Thai dramas and films. So where do I go to watch them? YouTube and Netflix. And what do I get? Listening practice. It's brilliant. It is the best of both worlds. So those are my recommendations for learning a language but i would also say if you're looking if you are genuinely looking for free language learning things google is your best friend just google your language google reading google news articles google things that you can sort of read you can semi understand and then build on it even if it's one sentence a day you start with that sentence you learn that sentence and then you build. If there's anything else you want to hear about in terms of language learning, put it in the comments. Let me know. So that's the end. I hope you find that helpful. Until next time, Zajian.